Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the daytime again, and uh, I'm looking at a word problem, so let's see what we got. Jack and Jill go up the hill every day, fetching pails of water. Okay, not super important, is it? Each weekday, Monday through Friday, they fetch 52 pails between them. Okay, on weekends, they give themselves a little rest, only fetching 24 pails on Saturday and 10 pails on Sunday. What is the mean number of pails they fetch, fetch per day? What is the mean number of pails they fetch per day? So I'll remind you that mean is the same as average. It's the amount that you would have if you did the same thing every day. So in this case, um, you know, Jack and Jill fetch a lot of pills of water, but they don't um, fetch the same amount every day. Week days are different from the two different weekend days. So, you know, um, average is what we would have if they actually, if we took what they um, got during the week and we split it up evenly um, throughout each of the days. So that's what we're going to do mathematically. We're going to put together all the water that they get all week. We're going to total it. And then we're going to split it up. We're going to split it up over what? Well, they fetch water every day. So we're going to split it up between the number of days. Okay, the number of items in the data set. Now, I just got to tell you that most students just do this wrong. I just have to tell you, they just go like this. Oh, look, a 52. Oh, look, a 24. Oh, look, a 10. That's three numbers. I'll divide by three. They add up the numbers and divide by the number of numbers. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it when teachers teach that uh, because it's like incomplete understanding of the concept, guys. You really, really got to look at these numbers and look at what they mean. Don't just assume just start adding up numbers randomly and dividing by how many ever random numbers you find let's go take a look here at what these numbers actually mean so we can do this problem accurately okay so it says each weekday monday through friday they fetch 52 t pails between them that means they're not just fetching 52 pails one time. They're doing this over and over again during the week. How many times during the week do they uh, fetch 52 pails? Well, they do it on Monday. That's once. Tuesday, twice. Wednesday, three times. Thursday, four times. Friday, five times. So they fetch 52 pails five times. Now, you could add up 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52 plus 52, but I'm way too lazy to add the same number repeatedly when I know that I can deal with repeated addition through multiplication. So they're adding up the number 52 five times. Five times. I hope that makes sense. Now, uh, that's not the only water they fetch during the week though, so let's keep adding to our total. They also fetch pills, uh, water on Saturdays. Now, that's just one day. Just Saturday, they fetch 24 pills. So I'm just going to write 24 once. And on Sunday, they do 10 pills. 10 pills on Sunday. So there's my total there. 52 happening five times plus 24 plus 10 will give me the total water they fetch all week. Now, remember, after you find the total, you're going to take that whole answer that you found, and you're going to divide by the number of items in the data set. Well, you're like, well, what is the number of items in the data set? And too many students divide by three like we talked about. Well, we are finding the average or the mean number of pails they fetch per day. And up here, I was looking at a week's worth of water. So a week worth is how many days? Of course, it's seven days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So make sure that you do divide by seven Great. So I'm going to make sure that I'm type this entire expression here into my TI 30 excess calculator. 52 times 5 plus 24 plus 10. Super important that you press enter, enter, and I get 294 before you divide by 7. Now I'll divide by 7 and I get 42. 42 pills per day. So the correct answer is D, 42. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED skill, uh, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.